Are you frustrated with the limitations of CapCut editing app due to its pro features? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video tutorial, I will walk you through some amazing tips and tricks to bypass this restriction and unlock the full potentials of CapCut without spending a dime. So if this is what you're interested in, let's dive right in without wasting time. First, you need to download CapCut. You can find it on the App Stores for iPhone users or Google Play Store for Android phone users. But if you're on a computer, head straight to the website, I mean the CapCut website, and download for desktop. Or better stay if you have Microsoft Store instead or your computer, just head over to your Microsoft Store, come to the search bar here, type CapCut, click on Install to have it installed on your system. Okay guys, once you have CapCut installed, open the app and create an account, which is very easy to do. You can sign up for an account using your TikTok, or Facebook, or Google account. You don't have to bother about that, it's super easy. Okay guys, now that you have your account set up, Let's explore some of the amazing pro features. CapCut Pro offers advanced editing tools like animation, transition, auto captions, and many more. Feel free to experiment with these features and create your project. Remember, you don't need to pay for this feature if you follow this step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, for instance, let's assume this is the project you're working on, okay? Now, this video is without a caption, Let's play it so that you can see that it doesn't have a caption. In a quiet, secluded town, nestled deep within the woods. Okay, guys, now let's assume I'm working on this project. I am not on CapCut Pro, but I want to make use of the Pro features. Let's assume I just want to put automatic caption in this video. Let's caption it and see what I'm trying to explain here. Auto captions us generate okay now let's go to presets to choose a template as you can see here most of the templates here they are all on the pro let's assume we're taking this okay in a quiet secluded town as you can see guys the video has automatically been captioned okay now let's assume i am done with all that i need to do on this very particular project okay now it's time to download or export this project here is where we have to apply this super tricks i'm telling you about of course you know that if you should go to export to export directly in as much as you are not on a pro you will be restricted you'll be asked to upgrade in fact even without making use of any of the pro in as much as you are on CapCut, you use CapCut to edit your project and you are about to export whether you are using 720 pixel resolution or you are using 480 or you are using 1000 or 2k pixel resolution in as much as you are on CapCut app or website you will be asked to subscribe before you can export or download your videos and guys you don't want to spend days trying to edit a particular video and finally after you succeeded you are not able to export it or download that video out of CapCut platform you don't want to imagine how painful and frustrating that could be right okay guys that is why you should make use of this simple logic that i'm about to show you right now instead of downloading your project directly from CapCut, which might require a pro subscription we're going to make use of screen recording software if you are using your pc and app if you are using your phone now if you are using your phone there are different screen recording app you can get from google play store though i will be putting the links of some of the good ones that I have tried down below in the description box of this video so don't worry to ask about the name or whatever don't worry i'll be putting the links there just in case you need one of them 
With that said, let's assume you are to use your computer to screen record. Then I would recommend two screen recording software for your screen recording, which is Microsoft Clipsham and OBS Studio. Don't worry, guys. This both screen recording software will cost you nothing. Now, first, let's begin with Microsoft Clipsham. To do that, head straight to your Google search and type Microsoft Clipsham and instead, or better still, go straight to your Microsoft Store. If you have Microsoft Store in your system, just type in here Microsoft Clipsham. Then you have it in still. Or better still, go straight to your Google search and type the name Microsoft Clipsham. Then in still. Okay, guys, with that said, now how do you screen record using Microsoft Clipsham? If you are new to this software, it will bring you to an interface like this. Now, what you need to do is to click on this create a new video. Then you come here where you have record and create on it. Here, you have the possibility to choose whichever one that suits your desire. For instance, this first one here, screen and camera is used to record both the screen of your computer and your face maybe you want to record your very self together this one is good for tutorial videos and here we have camera maybe you just want to record yourself alone you can make use of this back and front you can flip your camera back and front to make use of this then here you have screen here where you have screen it is possible for you to record the screen of your computer without showing your face here you have audio same thing just for you to understand the process here is just for audio and then here we have test to speech as you can see it's an amazing software that you can use for screen recording test to speech audio recording and all of that so in this case since we are recording just our screen alone we have to choose on where we have screen click on it and then you click on this red button here here it's possible to make some adjustment settings but I think it's just okay in this default here where you have your speaker coach you can leave it on or off as you prefer but I think it's just okay the way it is now click on this red button here okay guys if you are recording your entire screen make sure you click on entire screen here but if you are recording just the window then you click on window in this case, let's assume I'm recording the entire screen. So I'm going to put it on entire screen. Okay. And then come here and make sure to click on entire screen. And then make sure you click on also share system audio so that you have good quality sound from your recording system direct, from your computer direct. Okay. If you don't have any other microphone attached and all of that. Okay. So you just click on this also share system audio. Okay, now you can click on share and start recording. Your recording limit is about 30 minutes. So once it's 30 minutes, it's going to be terminated and saved. And if you're not done, start over again to continue recording. That is how you use Microsoft Clipsham to record your screen. Now let me show you how you use OBS to record your screen. And at the tail end, you have to decide which among these two free tools you will prefer to use for your screen recording if you are using your system okay okay guys now how do you record with your obs studio to do that first we need to install obs studio go to your microsoft store to have it installed or go to your google search and type obs studio instead it according to your window if you are using window 11 window 10 you should install according to your window okay don't worry, as I've said earlier, I will be leaving the links below in the description box just in case you find it difficult getting the right one, okay? Now, just type OPS Studio. Though I already have it on my system, but it's just to make you understand how it looks like, just in case you want to download it. After installing it, it will bring you to a blank, dark interface like this. This is how your dashboard or interface should look like if you are on OBS studio okay now guys before we continue i must not forget to tell you in this video tutorial 
I just want to show you how you can use OBS Studio for your screen recording alone. I've done a video tutorial in time past how to live stream using OBS Studio. Just in case you want to learn how to stream live on YouTube, live on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and other social media platforms using OBS Studio. I have done a video tutorial about that and I shall be leaving the link below in the description box. Please go and watch that video so that you learn how to use it to live stream on YouTube and other social media platforms. Okay? It's an amazing tool that you can use for free without paying a dime. Okay, guys? With that said, now let's continue. Now that we are here, what we need to do first is to click on this plus sign where you have sources here. Under here, there's a plus sign here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Click on this plus sign. Okay? After clicking on the plus sign, you can see many options here. Since we are recording the entire screen of our computer, we're going to click on display capture. But if you want to record a specific part of your window, what you need to click on is window capture. Okay? But in this case, I'm recording the entire screen. So I have to click on display capture. Okay, guys? Did you understand that? Now here, you have to name it according to your desire. Any name you want to put here, it doesn't really matter. You can put anything there. It doesn't really matter. Okay? In this case, let me just put something like uh, sound, for example. And then click OK. Next is to set up the audio. To do that, go to your settings here. Click on settings and click on audio. Okay? Here, you can select your desktop audio and microphone devices here. This ensures that both your system sound and your voice are recorded. Okay? In this case, I'm using my system sound direct. Okay? So I'm just going to leave this very one on default. Desktop audio. I'm going to leave it on default. Okay? So guys, you should make a choice depending on if you have microphones connected and all of that. Okay? Now, after that, what you need to do next is to click on OK. Now it's time to adjust the video settings. And to do that, you have to go back to your settings here, click on it, and come back here, under here, where you have video. Now, after clicking on video, you have to set your bus canvas resolution and output scaled resolution. You can also set the FPS, which is a frames per second here, okay? Okay, guys, which is this very particular one, you can set it here. I'm just gonna leave it on 30 as it is like this. And then for my bus canvas resolution, I will say is okay, 1920 per 1080 pixels, which is this uh, 16 ratio, nine aspect ratio, because I'm using it for YouTube. I will say it's just okay. Then as for the output scaled resolution, I would say it's just okay like this. If you meet your own automatically, leave it like this. But if it's not automatically, you can set it on 1920 per 1080 pixel. Okay? As for the aspect ratio, is 16 ratio 9 since I'm making use of YouTube. At the tail end, you just have to click on OK. With that done already, next is to choose output settings. Now, to choose the output settings, go back to your settings here, click on it, and click on output. Guys, you have to make sure to follow this step-by-step -step tutorial because a lot of people find it difficult to make proper setup of uh, OBS Studio. And if you are not able to set it up properly, you might not be able to use it. Sometimes it's a bit... Uh, I don't want to say difficult or complicated, so you have to make sure you pay attention to the setup so that you don't miss out on any of the steps. Okay, guys? Now, after clicking on the output, you have to select the recording part where your recording will be saved. Recording quality format, usually MP4 or MKV and encoder. Okay, guys? Now, to do that, you have to click on this recording here, and then under here, you will see recording parts. This recording part here, you have to choose where your video will be saved here. In my own case, I just put videos direct so that whenever I finish recording, it will be automatically sent to my video files in my system. Okay, guys? 
So you can click here to select or if you browse which of them you want to put in there. You can click on the browse here and select from your file direct where you want it to go to. Whether on download or video, this PC, Windows C, USB or anywhere. But in my own case, I just have it. I just have to put video so that it will not be difficult for me to locate my files whenever I finish uh, recording. And then for the recording format, guys, for the recording format, you can choose MKV or MP4. To do that, click on this arrow down button here. You can put it on MP4, this very particular one here, or MKV. With that done already, guys, I will say we are good to go. Every other ones here, you can leave them the way they are like this. Just leave them the way they are. Audio, 160 audio bitrate is okay like this. Leave them the way they are. Replay buffer, 20 seconds is not bad. Just leave them the way they are, okay? With that done already, click on OK or apply, whichever one you want to click on, okay? Next, you go back to your settings and click on hot keys here click on this hot keys and add assign keys for starting and stopping the recording this can make it easier to control your recording okay guys this is optional if you want you can add if you want you can leave it in my own case i'm just going to leave it but if you want you can add it if you want you can leave it just click ok and then we that done already guys it's time to start recording. Come straight here where you have start recording. Click on it and automatically your screen will start recording. Okay? For free without paying a dime. And if you want to end the recording, same process. Come here, click on stop recording and it will finally come to an end and be saved automatically to wherever you directed your file to be saved to as simple as that so as i've said earlier i'll be leaving all the links below in the description box i hope this video really be of help to you if this video has added value to you in any way please don't hesitate to put thumbs up and if today is your first time of coming across my channel and you like what i do on my channel please don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button god bless you as you do that See you on my next video. Bye-bye. Shalom.